Hi guys, Rachel with Spunky Mystic Girl here. And today I want to do just a little bit more low key video. This is really not a big tutorial with a lot of instructions. It's really more about just having a play. I, um, I watched a video by Heather, I believe it is, over at Ruby and Pearl. Um, and I have not watched a lot of videos there before. Um, and she was making these really super cute envelope pockets, um, which is just really versatile, um, gonna be really nice for junk journals. And so I thought I would just mass make a few of these today and play around a little bit. Um, it's really simple to make the basic structure, so not a lot to do there. Um, she also used straight pins. She had these beautiful rusted T-pins, uh, and I would like to, I don't know, I guess you'd have to actively rust them unless you already have those <laughs> around. Maybe there's a way to do that. I'll have to look into it. Um, and then she had all these beautiful beads that she put on them. I did not have beautiful rusty tea pins or beads. So I just experimented a little with the straight pins that I do have uh, and some book pages. And I think it turned out nice. Um, and then I just filled it with a few little bits of ephemera. I think this is from an Artie Mays kit. And then this is one of my own rubber stamps on tea dyed paper. So that's what we'll do today. And I just, I have this, uh, this really gorgeous white, different kinds of white papers that I got from um, Topurlogy that I think is gonna be really fun for decorating. Uh, so what you want is papers, whatever papers you want to use to make your pockets. Uh, book pages could be cool for this. Actually, let's do one out of a book page too. Um, goodness knows I have enough of those. Uh, so what you really want is to have a, basically a square. So I have a bunch of stuff in different sizes. Let's do this one up. Five. Um... I have a bunch of squares in different sizes that I've prepped for this. I mostly printed out, I think these uh, invoicey ones are from a, something I purchased on Creative Market. It wasn't an Etsy kit. And then I did some, I think, Artie Mays backgrounds mostly on them. So you just, if you're using printables, just want to make sure you do both sides because you will see some of that inside there. Um, and it's super straightforward. So all we're gonna do is um, basically we want to fold. So really what I'm gonna do is kind of just see about these sides and about where these sides go. And this isn't, you know, also nice because it's not a, doesn't need to be a super precise process. And then I'm just gonna come in here once I see that, I'm gonna fold up this bottom piece. And then I can actually come up over like this. And it's no big deal if it's not perfect, you know? it's. Kind of part of the point. <laughs> um, and that's most of it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and ink the parts are, that are gonna show before I glue it down. Just cause I like to give that extra oomph. I think it looks so much nicer. I'm just gonna do these outside bits for now. 
And then I'm gonna glue that bottom part just along the edges so that it forms the pocket. Oof, this, these book pages, this came from the um, Robert Galbraith slash JK Rowling books that I made the Christmas tree out of, if you've seen that video. Um, and they're a little bit, they're not super, uh, they don't have a lot of strength to them. They're a little light and fluffy. So it can be a little bit difficult to use for stuff like this. Very, very thin, cheap book page paper. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this top over so that I get my nice fold here. And then I'm just gonna rip that off at the fold, giving me that nice edge, and that is gonna get some ink. And there's my pocket. Isn't that fun? I um I need I need to start a giant vintage themed journal. I don't have anything to put stuff like this in. Um, which one should we do next? Let's do this big one. Now I'm just going to make a few more of these. Um, and then we'll decorate. Let's we'll see what we want here. Uh, fold those. You guys, my friend Mimi from Crafters Convention, hi Mimi if you're watching, insulted my old crusty crafter mat. <laughs> Told me I should get a new one. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> um, I just have not had time to think about it yet and I am, uh, I am genuinely... A very messy crafter. I have a day job that's very difficult and stressful and I do a lot. Um, that's not gonna work. That's gonna be less than not perfect. That's gonna be like not an envelope. So I am gonna actually move this up from where it was and let the bottom be maybe not straight. I've tried to come to the point where I just really, and I'm gonna just actually cut those pieces off that are just gonna be in the way. Um, since this one is a little bit trickier at the bigger size. I try to be a little more chill and accepting of the mess that I have been in my younger years. I just wouldn't get anything done if I worried about it. That was my principle. When I started the YouTube channel, I started doing all this. I was like, I, this is going to be about playing and having a good time and just doing stuff, just putting these videos out. I'm not going to sit here and fuss over a thumbnail and whether a thumbnail looks good or is right or is the best absolute possible thing. I'm just gonna make it, show what it is and put it up, right? And see if we can build something that way without it needing to be this. Because otherwise I just go into perfectionism mode and it's like, I, 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 I will not put things out. I'll just be scared of what you guys will think about it. And I don't want to do that. Um, I want to just be sharing and connecting with you guys, you know? So I have a messy craft mat for now. <laughs> if you want to send me a new one, I I think my email is on the YouTube. You can absolutely reach out. 
and I will tell you where to send it. Okay. Um, yeah, not perfect, but that's okay. Maybe we'll decorate in a way that will um, cover that up if we want to, which again, that's the great thing about junk journaling. And then I'm just gonna, the thing is too, is that for me, I like the style of people who are not fussy. I enjoy Pam at the Paper Outpost a lot. I enjoy Julie over at Camellia's Crafts. Um, and it really, for me, is about the joy of sitting down and, you know, playing, feeding myself, feeding my spirit with making something that looks beautiful to me. All right. That's a good one. Two. Let's do one more and then we'll decorate a little. Um, this guy maybe is a little different. What should go on the outside and what on the inside? Maybe I like this for the outside actually. Maybe that was my intention. I don't know. So I'm just folding these across to each other, point to point. I maybe went a little too far last time. I don't know. It's an experiment. Everyone's a new experiment. No template. And then we're folding this. Yeah, because this guy then, if I stick with those, is not going to go up that far. So that doesn't work. With these bigger ones, you have to come up. That's okay. We'll just cut those little pieces again. They just interfere. So just these little triangles in the corner that are where the overlap is. I'm just trimming those out of there. My boyfriend went to the grocery store today so that I didn't have to worry about it at all. Which is really nice. Isn't he just the sweetest? He is my favorite. This is all covered up, so we'll do this. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna glue. Somehow, my channel has has picked up some momentum. The algorithm must be liking me. You guys must be watching more. I don't know what. You're subscribing more. <laughs> but I have been adding subscribers at a much more rapid rate recently. I thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate every one of you coming along with me, enjoying yourselves, telling your friends. Ripping that guy off. And there we go. Oh, I like that. I actually want this. I wish I had done this a little more darker. Dark, 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 dark. My ink pad is old and dead. Okay. Look at these three cuties that we have now. I actually really like the book page one. I want to do a couple more of those. So what should we do to them? I think first, I really like this uh, kind of lacy, whitey thing. <laughs> Let's find some stuff like that out of this really cool paper pack and try a couple of different things here with these. This one. and see what we like. Um, 
and it kind of just I had it's funny because this one I just had a wonky piece um laying around <laughs> and I just use that Ooh, I do here's another little wonky piece that I like that I might just use um so what else do we have here so I also have so this B I use this B this was a sticker I made myself from a rubber stamp there's another video about that uh if you want to go watch that and make some of those. Um, I have a few more of those here that I might use because I do like that look. I do something like that or like the herbarium is pretty cool. That could go in my... I do have a botanical... Um, a botanical journal sort of in progress. I haven't actually started to make the physical journal, but I have been collecting pieces for it. Um, and sometimes making things on video that are on theme for it. Let's cut this off. I also have these. There's a video for these too. This is just muslin that's been rubber stamped that I turned into little bits and pieces that I'm using as ribbons for tags, but also just, it's nice to have just these little bits and pieces of a fabric like this for, for put in places. I actually, that's a little light, kind of doesn't contrast enough. Um, on those, maybe it goes on this one, something like this. I like that. I need some words too. What do we have for words? The words, these words are, um, in my Etsy shop. Ooh, actually, maybe birdcage. Mm, I think he's a little big for this, maybe. Butterflies are big too. I need to make some more of these. I got some new stamps. And I need some smaller ones. What did I do? Oh, I think I do have, I know what I want. Let me see if I can find it. There are, yeah, this one is what I was thinking of. That I love that stamp. I use it all the time. Kind of like that. I'm liking that. Let's put it on. Screw it, let's glue it. Right? I, I legit started thinking about making a t-shirt design <laughs> with that on it. But then I thought, I don't know, people aren't really going to know what that means. It's very clear in context, right? But just out in the world, people might be like, what? What is that? <laughs> Glue what? But you know, when I'm a super famous paper crafter, you can just be like, you know, Spunky Misfit Girl, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh boy. All right. This guy, right on here like this. Oh yeah. We like it. It needs something though, doesn't it? it needs something more. Um, let's see, I also have these labely stickers and I have buttons. I've been experimenting with whether I wanna add buttons to any of these, which I kinda, of, ooh yeah, that's awesome. I love it when, when stuff happens like that. I just pull something out and I'm like, 
That is an absolute yes for me right now. No fussing, no faffing about, as I would say if I were British. Um, it's a very useful term. I love that. Okay, I actually don't know if it needs anything more. That might be fine. I might be totally happy with that. Um, I do like the the sort of contrasty thing with the I have pins. Just a whole big thing of uh, decorated straight pins here. I don't really like the bright colors. I have some. The pinks were okay. There's this kind of gold gold one in there that's okay. I don't want to put, I have some whites that might be okay too. I don't want to put this bright green or purple or anything in here with these vintagey colors. But all I did with that was, let's get one that's contrasting here now. Take a little, rip a little piece that's kind of longer than it is wide. Rip, 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 and crumple it up. And then put it, do we want this or do we want this? Let's try this. Through here, and then through here. Back out. And then, should I have done this the other way? How did I do this? I guess that one didn't matter because it was just book page on both sides. But this one, I want, I'm pickier and I want to show off this. There you go. <laughs> Well, that kind of gives it a, but I'm gonna cut this or rip this. I'm gonna rip this a little bit here so we can show off that pin head too. Get that kind of where I want it. Fussy. As soon as I'm on video, things, yeah, I, that's not working for me. Things don't work out as well. F somehow I did that in a way that was, you know what? Let me ink it a little now too, since it's all. Let me give it some, and we'll try again. I'm making holes in my, because the problem is if you just do it like this and then go through here, it just is all kind of jammed up and it doesn't lay like that. Whereas maybe I needed a longer piece. I don't know. This is too much fuss for me. I'm getting annoyed with it myself. Ow! And I'm also poking myself now too. Because I think what I did was I came through here and then I came back through there. Yeah, more like that. Okay. Now it knows I'm getting annoyed with it and it's gonna cooperate. There we go. That's good. That's better. All right. So that's our little guy. And then I've just got some bits and bobs to put in there. These are little ephemera pieces from, I believe again, an Artie Mays kit. She has a lot of good vintagey stuff. Now that I'm doing more vintage, I'm using more of her stuff. Just gonna ink it up and pop that in there. Maybe one other bitty piece here of some kind, whatever we have around here. Maybe just a nice paper. <laughs> Just playtime. I have these papers. These are kind of nice. Maybe if I 
I could show you one of my new stamps. <laughs> this one is awesome. I super love it. I was stamping on fabric this morning because I'm going to do a tab bound journal for you guys. First time I'm doing it, but we'll do it together. Um, that is pretty weird on that paper. I don't know if I love that. Part of me does, and part of me is like, you're a crazy woman. Um, I want to cut it though. I'm going to cut it down. Maybe I'll use this paper, these bits of this paper to decorate one of the other envelopes. I think it might work really well for that. There. I'm gonna ink the edges too. That'll make me happier. If you're ever displeased with something, seriously, sometimes just a little bit of ink can be the answer. <laughs> At the very least, hit. Lowers your blood pressure to do it, right? Okay, I'm gonna put that guy in there. Indeed, I like that, I'm happy. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, I do like herbarium on here, maybe. Maybe this is just a leftover from something that's hanging out on my desk. That's the other thing about, you know, just going ahead and having a messy desk is that I do a lot of times if I am just working on screen and just kind of playing around, I do use bits and pieces. I just pull whatever's next to me. And I do really like that. Like there's, there's a joy in that for me that you know, I am a very much a planner in general of most things. I plan and I plan and I plan everything down to the last detail. And I don't want to do that with this kind of thing. That's part of what's fun about it for me is that I can just dive in and see how we can make use of what's here, you know? Um, I don't know if that's going to work together, actually. That color is a little bit weird. I have this cute uh, bag. Maybe I'll stick that inside. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Um, let's try the whites here and see what might work with this guy to go over the top a little. I don't like that. What about this guy? That's kind of fun. A little white feeling, which means these others probably are going to too. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not sure. I've also got the brown one. Ooh, yeah, I kind of like that. I like these meshy ones. They're fun. Ugh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's go. I kind of want it just to kind of go everywhere. I have been prepping for this other craft fair too, so I've been super busy with that. Making the and preparing the 200 free gifts for the first 200 people on Friday night, they come to my booth and make a purchase of $15 or more, they will get a free gift. And I'm putting all that stuff together. Okay, I love that. No, no. What else do we have? We had this guy, which I was fiddling with, but not loving. How about, what if we just take um, one like this. 
Yeah? What do you guys think? What do my pickles think? Pickles, peaches, pears. <laughs> That's what it was. And I think there was one other one. Uh, all right. Yeah. Let's glue it. And I'm just going to cut it off that edge over there. <gasps> I like it. I don't know what's coming next. I have no idea, but... That's kind of the good thing about this, isn't it? More and more layers. Take a little more of this stamped muslin that I have hanging out here. That might be something we wanna do. Maybe a more shorter piece. Not straight at all, but let's leave it that way actually and see how it looks. I just like to rip the ends so that it gets that frayed look. Uh, which I think is nice. Let's not get hairs everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of obsessed with this stamp, but I'm actually not sure that it's working for me here in this place. So let's take a look at some other options that we have here. Oh yeah, maybe that one is better. <laughs> maybe just put the pin in there. Ah, oh, I like that. I actually want a word, though, on here, I think. I'm going to put those on. This might be a good um, make and take for crafters convention. What do you guys think? I think this could be really fun. Might have to make you fussy cut your own stickers though. That's a lot of fussy cutting for me. <laughs> uh, all right. Loving this. What else have we got? I've got some of these little bitty labely sticker things here that I kind of like too. Some of them are nice. See if I can find one that I like here. Yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Uh, not functional, dead air. Can get it off. Okay, and then I do want to consider Something with a pin. Oh, and let's just go ahead. What's am I gonna get inside of there? Put some ink. And a little more glue on that edge. Well, that was a lot of glue on that edge, but that's okay. There we go. Okay. Pin? What do you guys think? What about, like, this little guy? Straight? Do I want to rip him up? Give him some... He's kind of short. I don't know if that will work, but 
Let's see. I was so fiddly last time too. We had a, a terrible time of it. So let's see if we go, I need it to go like this through here. This paper is a little bit more stiff too. And so is this one. And then in here and back out of here. And then we think we can get it back out this way too without poking me. Please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I that's darling. I love it. I'm happy with that. So pleased. Don't these look great? Oh, I hope you guys love them as much as I do and want to run out and make them. I think I might still want just one word on here. Maybe with a um, border around it. You know? Or maybe just like that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's ink it first. I think I'm just going to put it on just the way it is. No border necessary. Happy times. All right. Now, what should we put in there? That's all there is to it. Uh, how about a couple of these little guys? Or actually, I think I'm just going to do this one. My edges are all white, though. Um, these are from that same kit from Artie Mays. I am working on putting together some kind of just basic uh, vintage ephemera kit, though. So I'm that is something that is on my priority list to do because I'm doing a lot of vintagey stuff lately and I need it. I've collected a lot of images already. I've just got to get the time to sit down and put it together. Do we want that blue? I like it better like that. And then what else? Who else goes in there? Maison Jeanne et Leon. That. And one more. This guy's too blue, I think. Lithographers, ooh, yeah, I like that one. Let us round our corners on this guy. And ink it up. And there we go. Ooh, perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you love this project and I will see you next time.